Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch. No iPhone 3GS, guys, so notice I said the S. Don't jailbreak your iPhone 3GS, whatever you do. So, this will be how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch on your 3.0 firmware. Make sure you're on 3.0 firmware. I'll have a link in the description on to, down to download this. So, it'll look something like this when you download it. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna find a folder in my description to the right and you're gonna find a link to Red Snow. So you're just gonna go ahead and open that with whatever you have. It should be uh it should be you should get WinRAR. So um I'll have this also for Mac. Um it's pretty much the same exact idea here. Same exact sort of program. I will be using my iPod Touch first generation for this so I'm going to go ahead and click on folder red snow win underscore 0.7.1. You go ahead and open that, and you're going to find something called redsnow.exe. If you want to read the readme and license and credits, go ahead and do that, but I could care less. I'm going to go ahead and open that up, and it's going to give you a bunch of copyright crap. And, um, if I. It, it'll ask you to find your current IPSW for your current firmware. So you're going to go ahead and browse and you're going to find the 3.0 that you downloaded for your device. You go ahead and open that. And make sure your device is connected as it's doing this. So it'll say IPSW successfully identified. You're going to go ahead and click next. And then if you're on the iPhone first generation, uh, it'll say unlock. Um, obviously, I can't do that, so I can't show you guys how to do that. Um, just click install Cydia. Now, before you guys do this, make sure you're ready to hold the home, the power button, I should say, right when you click next, okay? Be ready to click that, because if you don't, you could mess up. So, just be ready. So, we're just going to go ahead. So you're just going to click next. It should be after this one actually. You should be ready to press the power button. So please make sure your device is both off and plugged into the computer. So I'll turn it off right now. Make sure it's plugged in as well. It takes a little bit to turn off so it's off now. Um, if it's not off, plug the device in, in the, into the computer first. Then hold down the home, hold down the power button until the slide off, slide the power off appears, and then slide the power off. Click next only when the device is both off and plugged in. Make sure you do that, guys. So ready to press the home, the power button when I, uh, you click next. So ready, and go. Two, one. Hold the home and power button for ten seconds. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. And now you're gonna release the power button and hold the home button for uh, 30 seconds. So it'll say found Apple Recovery DFU USB driver. So just keep holding that. There should be an image that'll pop up. So it should become a white screen. You can let go of the home button now. I mean, once once it starts, uh, once it starts doing all this, you can just go ahead and um, you can just go ahead and release the power or the home button once it starts, you know, getting all these bars and everything. And it'll show downloading jailbreak data on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So just let it do that. My computer's leaking, making weird noises. So just let it do all this. I'll play some music while it does this. Okay, well now it's now it's done. So um, I'll just show you guys what it looks like.
just don't click finish until all this is done so I'll just show you guys what it looks like um, on your iPod right now so it should look something like this guys um, it will have that little whirly thing and it will say downloading jailbreak data and then it will have a bar that will come up and um, it should just do this for a while so yeah uh, I'll come back when actually I'll just play some music because I know you guys like music so actually no because they'll get me for copyright so yeah I'll just stop it right here guys and uh, I'll show you guys when it comes back what it should look like so after um after you after it's done all that it should reboot it should come up with the Apple logo it should shut off and then come up with this and you should just wait now so while you're waiting, go ahead and subscribe over there. And um, you can also subscribe to Rob's Technology over there. Um, I'll have a link in the description. And something just popped up. So just let it, sometimes it does this. I'm the new 3.0 firmware. For some reason it does this for me. I don't know why. It just has a black screen with no... As you can see, whoop de doo you have officially jailbroken your device. And apparently it doesn't delete everything that's on your iPod. So if you can see that, there is a Cydia right there. It's very, it's very blurry, but there is a Cydia there, guys. So, um... Uh, Thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe as you've done already, or hope you have.